The country won't work without them. People putting their lives on line to help others during coronavirus. In the end, when the history of COVID-19 pandemic is written, credit would be given to many for battling the virus. But maximum space perhaps be devoted to frontline workers. Doctors, nurses, hospital staff, public health care workers, community health workers, and majority of whom are women. Sanitization workers and everyone who were directly in contact with infected people or could have been infected in line of duty. Apparently, the second wave bridged the rural-urban divide. The virus was now in villages, quite ravaging through India's rural belt, while most of the COVID heroes were PPE kids. In villages, they mostly were saris. To be precise in UP, white saris with brown borders. The Asha worker, the aggregated social health activist, is today the first line of defense against corona in villages. Armed with ill-fitted mask and just a tiny bottle of sanitizer, the Asha worker is the biggest unsung hero of rural India. Here's the story of Pragya Nayak. Pragya Nayak, an Asha worker from Sidholi village, brought the virus home in the second COVID wave. Pragya and Asan survived, but, uh, but her husband passed from COVID complications. Her husband used to earn 12,000. Pragya went back to work within a week of his death. Pragya was on every news channel as a heartbreaking story of a COVID warrior. And that, that's it, where it all ended.